Okay, let's get into some fun stuff now. We do not have the quarterfinal workouts as we are recording this on Wednesday, March 23rd. I believe those get released tomorrow. Yep. But but we do have equipment lists and we do have floor plans. Ooh. So we can speculate as to what some of these tests might be. And let me see if I can do this right now. Oh, man. So uh, I have them pulled up. If you want me to go through the first one. Yeah, go for it. So I got it, I got it big right here on our screen. So those of you, if you're, if you're watching this on, on YouTube, you can see it right here. We're in the, okay. So this is the first one. So for workout one, yep. we have two boxes. Yep. Both boxes are 40, 40 uh, inches by 24 inches. One or two by 60. If you're a metric system person, you do centimeters. <laughs> um, one box is where the athletes start. It's just your standard gray taped box mm -hmm. um and then the one to the right is you know maybe something a little bit more exciting something you've never heard of before yeah. um if someone gets that reference i'll be very impressed <laughs> uh, it has two plates on it so stacked plates or similar items to create deficit deficit so there's Keyboard. two boxes side by side mm -hmm. um there is five feet of separation with a tape line and then two dumbbells <laughs> on the other side of that okay now there's a good enough space across from the dumbbells that there is a possibility that something else gets done in this workout as yes. well in that empty space. Mm -hmm. So, you know, first crack, I think everyone looks at those, those boxes and thinks handstand pushups, deficit handstand pushups. And to what extent will they be strict? We don't know. Yeah. That's um, interesting. Cause it's, uh, my six nine wingspan hopes mm -hmm. that they aren't strict and yes. that, that I get to, you know, I get to use these hips for what they were designed for, and that's <laughs> handstand pushups for sure. No, that's uh, and then you got the dumbbells there. Mm -hmm. Um, this is very similar to last year's event yeah. one, which was you know, uh, I believe it was strict handstand pushups and hang cleans, then it was with double unders as well, and then mm -hmm. a second part that was. Kipping handstand pushups, shoulder to overhead or push presses, and uh, and double unders as well. So that could be something similar. It could be a variation. It could be a beefed up version. It could be something entirely new. Mm -hmm. You know, across from that tape line, there's a ton of stuff that you could do without equipment. Whether um, it's burpees, pistols, air squats, yep. there could be hiding a jump rope over there mm -hmm. that they, you know, someone scrubbed out of the of the frame. That could be. Put in yeah uh, that's funny because when you when we were first talking about these i i did not that my mind didn't go there we're like there's some empty space that could be filled with something yes so okay so that's so what do you think that's going to be do you think it's they're going to go with the hmm. i mean to me like it, to me i would think that they're going to do some sort of you know, maybe you get to do a kipping handstand push-up and then you're going to go do some dumbbell work then you're going to go do some deficit handstand pushups, and then you're gonna do some dumbbell work, and that's a round, and then maybe you have to do that a certain amount of times. Yeah, because if you, you here's the exact workout from uh, this is from last year. From last okay. year, so it was three rounds of ten strict handstand pushups, ten dumbbell hang power cleans, fifty dumbbell unders. Rest exactly one minute, then ten kipping handstand pushups, ten dumbbell shoulder to overhead, fifty double unders. Time cap ten minutes with fifty pounds. Like mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a variation of this. Maybe it's like a beefed up version. Yeah, um, like a repeat plus. Okay, because we're also not talking like, hey, or to what extent are we going to see repeats here? Um, you know, it's it's entirely possible. Mm -hmm. um, but I, you know, I, I don't think they're they're throwing a huge red herring at you for as far as as far as uh you know like handstand push-ups are concerned i think we're going to see two variations yeah i just i i just hope that we get to kip for this one it'd be nice um especially yeah, if there's a ton too, of interference like you, and i think too you have to keep in mind like there are going to be some people who like, there, there are a ton of people here who are not going to the semifinals. yeah so give them a give them some some places where they can at least play yeah, but then also you have to throw something out there that is going to make sure that you separate those who really deserve to go to semifinals. And yeah. I think that's where you know you're going to get to kip the first set, and then you're going to do some more work, and then you're going to get to this one, and then 
you better figure out how to get through it. Depending on what the dumbbell movement is, I think you could keep them both still and have just separation depending on what the deficit is, that's, right? That's a good point. Yeah, that could happen too. So because, the, uh, you know, it shows a pair of plates, but the deficit could be deeper, you know? Right. It could be a, more significant than we mm -hmm. think. And That's uh, a good point. Yeah. All right, so that's the first one. So let's look now. Let's look at the second one. I'm trying to think. I would hope that maybe, I don't know if you do dumbbell deadlifts. Or Devil's Press. I don't know if you do Devil's Press yet. All right, so this is the second one. Individual quarterfinals, individual workout number two. Now you have tape lines that are eight feet apart. You have rings. You have a designated athlete start area. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so the athlete start area, as you're looking at it, is on the right side. Eight feet away from that athlete start area, there is a ghd apparatus mm -hmm. and again a lot of empty floor yeah eight feet <sighs> what could that be i mean rings two options toes to rings ring muscle ups mm -hmm. i hope they don't do toes to rings do especially with the ghd yeah no um, rings too. Uh, i think ghd mu ring muscle ups are a nasty yes. combination i've done a few of those I'm under trained in GHDs right now, so that one's gonna hurt. <laughs> um, I also I love I love ring muscle ups. I like them so oh, much yeah, more really than bar muscle those. ups. Um, and yeah, I, I'm curious what this eight feet is. It's this is where I think there's plenty of space to do double unders or um, it's not you know, long enough to do like a well. walking lunge because you're like four steps and you're there and then you turn around. Yeah, I, and it's and it's a very short distance as far as handstand walking to right so um yeah I don't, um i think it may be more so a safety thing you know from swinging mm -hmm. and keeping the app like the, the static apparatus that yeah. is the ghd the way and then you know if you look there's a ton of space at the top of this yeah i think this is where you know you have something unique whether it's i mean you could also do burpee muscle ups too that's entirely possible. You know, you right. could also have pistols uh, or one-legged squats or double unders over here. I hope that's not the case, man. Uh, <laughs> really hope don't yeah, no more, no more pistols. Last year's, last year's just were awful for me. So I, I'm a, I really think that you got to throw. Yeah, I mean, I think bring muscle ups. That's a no-brainer. I think mm -hmm. they're going to absolutely do that. Um, and maybe it is just a couplet. Maybe it is just DHDs and ring muscle ups. But I wonder. You know, I, that's it's, it's a good test um it's there, and it depends on how long what the rep scheme is and all that stuff but i do i'm i think you've got me thinking now about the empty space and what's going to happen in there i think there's yeah. probably a third thing in there there has to be a, this is this is where i think double unders maybe makes it makes a, an mm -hmm. appearance you have uh man the the interference on the midline from like the hip flexor oh for rings and ghd are go, is going to be nasty um, I don't think I'm trying to think what else will you do. Oh. I mean, this one to me is like I don't. It's just a matter of rep scheme and time. Yeah, you pretty much know what you're going to do, right? It seems pretty straightforward. I, yeah. I, I I wouldn't be surprised to see a jump rope thrown in there. Right. right? Okay. So now you want to go to the next one? Yeah. So let's go to the third one here, and this has this is this one's interesting because now we, we're bringing out a rope. And they have it, so if you're looking at the diagram here, the rope has to be eight feet from a wall ball target. And they have like sort of a semicircle here. So it has to be where you can put the wall ball target wherever you want in relation to the rope, but it's got to be eight feet away. So clearly we're doing wall balls. And then you have two tape lines that are 25 feet apart. Now you start to think, okay, Maybe there's a handstand walk in there. Maybe there's some sort of walking lunge, even though there's no there's no dumbbells pictured. Um, maybe, but maybe there's a shuttle run. Maybe there's there. a shuttle. Ooh, oh god, I hate shuttle runs. I love shuttle I, runs. So my problem with shuttle runs is is that I feel like I have to like I can only accelerate halfway because you know this big old rig shaker needs a little time <laughs> to slow down. Like I'm not stopping on a dime. You yeah, know? Like, <laughs> so we're throwing on the jake brakes every time we get <laughs> to that tape line. It's like three quick steps and start to slow down. All right, oh so. man. I uh I have a system that I use for shuttle runs yeah. that I developed in my years running many lines in basketball yeah. for uh you know 
Right. I always did mine on the ice so I could stop you just, you know, stop uh, yeah. really fast. There was no like having to, you know, chop or running. Did you guys, you guys call probably, what did you guys call them? Gassers in football? Uh, we, called them, we called them dolphins. Or dolphins. Yeah. I don't remember why. We call them gassers. I think we just call them line drills, running lines. Yeah. We called them dolphins where you, it was their back, their back. That's weird. And, and if you, if coach was pissed, you went the full length of the field instead of width wise. Oh, yeah, and they were yeah, called yeah. whales. Ugh. Um, but yeah, just you know, learning how to to effectively turn your body, mm-hmm. plant and go was important, and especially in basketball because you know you have oh, to yeah. do it a ton. Yeah. But um, I had to figure out how to get this this gangly mass of <laughs> limbs and <laughs> but this flesh. this one, I mean, rope climbs, wall balls, handstand walking. That's kind of my bet. Yeah, it's, it's like you know, are we going to use our legs? Are we not? Um, how many wall balls are going to be involved? Mm-hmm. Uh, to what extent? Will the 25 feet be used? You know, handstand walk and shuttle runs are the two big ones that make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, are we going to get funky with it? Do you have to take your wall ball and overhead walking lunge with it or something? Ooh. Like, you know, or is it a burpee broad jump? Um, I mean, I, I my bet is either, and now you said shuttle sprint because I'm like, that would be terrible. Have they done a shuttle sprint before? Though? They haven't. They've done it at the games. Yeah. And uh, because I remember that was the whole thing. Like, wasn't it 2012? The, uh, the, uh, they did. So I just remember that you had to have both feet and both hands behind the line when you touched. Mm-hmm. Like, both hands had to, something, it was something like that. Like, yeah, you yeah. couldn't just get your feet over. You had to actually physically touch the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and then they've also done like shuttle sprints for like the sprint event at the games as well, but right, not, right, not the right. long one. Yeah. But I'm talking um, like a traditional thing where you have the line, you got to stop, you got to touch it. You in 2012, go 2012 regionals, there was the dumbbell shuttle sprint workout where Maybe it was, that the, was, it was the heavy dumbbell snatch. And then you had to run across the field, touch that on the other side it. and then that come back. Okay. I could, I could have sworn. I, I remember seeing people on grass doing that, but could be, I could be totally wrong. Yeah. That, that was that was a fun fact. Uh, Dan Bailey beat, uh, returning in that one, and that made two out of three wins for him at the Central East Regional that mm. year. After he set a, a just an absurd record in Diane. There you go. So you, what do you, what's your bet on this one? I I wouldn't be surprised to see um, all four. Like we mentioned, you know, the rope climb and the wall ball, and then I wouldn't be surprised to see both handstand walk and shuttle run. Like you oh, have, throw like, them both out. Yeah, there. like you have to you walk, you move on your hands, then your feet. Like flip the axis a little bit. Uh, you know what we know from the open was that originally Dave had programmed shuttle shuttle runs in that first workout mm-hmm. in lieu of box jumps. So I think maybe they carry that over here to where it's a little bit more readily applicable to like an affiliate. That. Oh, so, that's gross. Because because ah. you imagine like getting across that line, yeah. with both hands having to come down and turn and. Whoosh. I like that. Good call. Okay, this next one we're gonna we're gonna show it to you just because. Uh, we'll go through it. It's it's very simple. It's just uh, a rack with uh, a barbell, a barbell, and me, and that is it. Me thinks there may be something <laughs> missing from this photo. <laughs> they might be slide a little bench on <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, I think that the inclusion of the flat bench in the equipment list, and there's been varying messaging about that. But if you go back to four days ago, mm-hmm. um. There was an equipment list for quarterfinals that included a flat bench under a rack. Interesting. And I think that in order to not fully give it away, that they included that rack, and then uh, the flat bench may mysteriously materialize yes. in the final outcome of that. And, you know, look, you can always take it away, too. Yep. At the same time, like maybe it's a combination of both. Yeah. Maybe it's... uh. Maybe it's a spin on the total. Whoo, the new total. What is it? What is it? Uh, what is it? Because uh, the old one is shoulder press, deadlift, and back squat, right? Mm-hmm. The new one was overhead squat, bench, mm. and uh, the, like the new CrossFit total. Remember, there was that's, a video. That's my bet. I there think they're doing a, some, something like that. There was a video, I think, of Kalipa doing it back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, Uh, this is from three attempts each. This was uh man, my yeah. I think you're gonna have a window 
Some my sort com- of time window. My computer is running slow. And you got to do you got to do the new total. Any order you want, but you got to do the new total. Man, I would have liked the old total. Yo, you'd love the old total, <laughs> yeah. But I think the new one is like just so I can because it may, and maybe it's the old one plus a bench. But we know the the bench yeah. is. I don't know why they would have a bench in the equipment list if you're not going to use it. Ooh, or if it's a powerlifting total, <laughs> that'd be cool. Powerlifting total, bench, squat, yeah, deadlift. Just get the deadlift in there. I want to. <laughs> I want to pull. I want to set a PR. I want to have a chance. We've been on a. Uh, we've, we've been on a rotation for for deadlift. We've been mm-hmm. on a, a progression for deadlift that, like, I feel as strong as I ever have. Oh, good on man. that movement. So I think you're gonna do um, well. It was clean bench press overhead squat, which actually wouldn't be bad. Yeah, as long as get I, get power I, I think I, that's. I'm gonna bet some sort. I don't think it's just one lift. I think they're gonna do a couple different things. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you want your heavy barbells? Here you go. But blam. Or and I was talking about this on the car ride uh, back from Tahoe with a buddy of mine. The doing like a ten rep max bench press would just be such a, mo- oh. a mofo because think about like the the room for error there. Yeah. Because like, the last thing you want to do is you get to nine <laughs> and then your you know your Spot. arms are shaking. You're like oh god. Yeah. Or hit. 10 and be like that was too easy yeah that's a good that yeah I because like that there too. is a there is a very s- shallow or narrow strike mm-hmm. zone there that where you hit it right and it's very tough to know okay yeah i i'm i'm gonna stick with i'm sticking with a new total that's gonna be my okay bet. but i like oh God, i would love like a be... I, i'm gonna say eight rep max back a bench press a new total would be great yeah i think that would be that would be cool yeah. uh a rack could be just crossfit total Mm-hmm. But or or we could see something. A lot of people thought overhead squat, max overhead squat. Dude, did you see Laura Horvath hit like two sixty five yes. for a double? Great googly moogly. Yeah, that was uh, that wasn't even a problem. She did it from the floor no, too. She's yeah. It just it's it's incredible what female CrossFit athletes are capable of right now. It's just like I used to aspire to be. Hey, I just want to be a I just want to be a strong female crossfit athlete you know if i can be that now i'm like if i could just be maybe like a 50 year old masters female i'd be good you know because it's it's unbelievable oh yeah but the last one here so we'll get to the last one is uh workout number five and i'm calling it up here so i can look at it it is uh at barbell so we have two tape lines that are eight feet apart on one side where the uh i believe the athlete is facing it has athletes facing at the top of the description barbell is right there behind the first tape line there's a uh plyo box in the middle and then there is another tape line and there's a concept to rower there so i don't know where else you put anything here there's really no empty floor space so i think you're looking at you know, very clear that it's going to be three different things uh maybe the movement on the barbell will change maybe it's burpee box jumps maybe it's regular box jumps um you know maybe it's step overs with with dumbbells who knows um and then you got the rower, so yeah, a lot triplet of triplet. Yeah, things out. I think you know. Last the final workout of last year was nine six three one eighty five pound barbell snatches and burpee box jump overs mm-hmm. with the tall box. This could be something similar with the rower added in. We could see a new movement on the barbell. Um, I think that they could have omitted dumbbell uh, dumbbells on this. Mm-hmm. And you could do burpee dumbbell overs, oh. which would just be a, blah, <laughs> you know, like the little soul suckers from hey, Shang, hey, Shang-Chi. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. yeah. I still haven't seen that. I got to watch that. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I watched it, it again on the plane. I've heard it's good. Uh, a couple weeks back. Oh, it's so good. Um, but there it is. Barbell, yeah. plyo box, rower. I hope uh, uh, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, we got that. Was it 2020? The finale. We got the, like the slice as you choose, slice it up how you choose with the with the wall balls, muscle ups. Oh and yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah, be interesting to see a format like that. That's cool. Um, I think people dig that too because it adds a little extra element of strategy. strategy in there. Yeah, it's all a matter of strategy. Strategy. Let's get creative. Explore the space. Yeah. Um, I want you know, and then I start to wonder after now that we've seen all these five, what are the time domains going to be? Uh, will there be a longer test? You know, and and what is, what does that exactly mean? Is that is that longer than fifteen minutes? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, really anxious to see these revealed because uh, 
and what I, my hope is too, and, and they have said this is that once we get the age group ones is that those are going to be a little bit different. different. And the yeah. reason I think that's important, we talked about this. Uh, I talked about this with the masters guys on our latest episode of masters chatter that you can check Which out. Which is out now. Yeah. yeah. Is that you there, you need to carve a lot more off uh, with the masters and age groups than you do with the individuals. So I think you need to have, um, a more, I guess, robust test. You, know, you got, you have to turn over more stones with that one than you do with the individuals. Mm-hmm. So I don't think you, I'm there, I'm sure there will be some similarities, some that some workouts that they say, Oh yeah, that does apply well, but I'm, I want to see how, how different it's going to be for the masters. Cause it's, it is a much bigger jump that they're taking from quarterfinals to, uh, I think they're like taking like 30 people total into the semifinals in, in each division in each division yeah that's that's With, stout yeah so and i mean and and for this one you know you look at the let me do the the math there's 27,000 stand by for math there's 27,700 quarterfinals athletes funny that was an, it was ended up being an even number <laughs> um and there's only 600 moving on to semifinals so only the top 0.0222 repeating percent make it so of course good luck yeah <laughs> ah, nice <laughs> anyway, one, nice anyway, one that reference yeah. um <laughs> that was great repeating of course uh, uh yeah so I, that's that's going to be fun and i think we're going to try to when those workouts are announced we'll try to get the master crew on here to, to break those down because a lot of those guys actually all of them are going to be doing them uh-huh. so and you yes you qualified for that as well mm-hmm. congratulations you have a lot of work coming up 94 percentile baby <laughs> nice all right um Good luck to everybody. So in the quarterfinals, man. That's so we're going to be recapping some of this. Yes, yes. Thank you. That's a good segue, Tommy. We will have live quarterfinal recap shows on our YouTube channel starting on Friday. That will be the close of the first twenty-four hour window because I think the first window opens at noon Pacific on Thursday, and that's when they'll be like, "Blam!" Here are all your workouts, and then the first two have to be in Friday at noon. Second two have to be in Saturday at noon, and I think the final one needs to be in Sunday. Sunday. Yep. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we will be live on our Talking Elite Fitness YouTube channel. Uh, to be determined on the time, we'll post on social media, but I think we're looking at 1 p.m. Pacific. So we have time to kind of sort through the leaderboard, make sure that all uh, is unofficially there, and then we can go through that. Hoping to have some guests on as well, but basically do what we used to do when we worked there, and that was come on and you know, let's recap some things and talk about yeah. who's where and, and who did what. So that will be live Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, tentatively looking at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So keep an eye on our social media and on our YouTube channel. Thank you for reminding me to, to promote that mm-hmm. for the people.